under attack for remarks you made about yeah. Arabs and indeed lost your programme on the BBC I was, because of it. I was, I was sacked by the BBC for not being impartial, um, largely because of a campaign run by the Muslim Council of for Britain. For not being impartial or being racist, not, though? For not being racist. I'm not racist. Um, I abhor the BNP and their racist policies, but I think the prosecution of Nif Griffiths was politically motivated and I'm glad it was unsuccessful. I'm glad it was unsuccessful because I fervently believe in free speech because that's why we're here tonight. If we did not have free speech, you and I could not be here. It's the foundation of our democracy and our civilization and everything that we have that is important is in this country is free speech. With free speech, well, without free speech, you can't find out whether Tony and I agree with each other and want to join the same party. You can't form associations. You can't form trade unions. You can't form a countryside alliance. You can't demonstrate, because you can't know what other people think in if they're not allowed to uh, express their views freely. And we have to be able to express our views fearlessly and fervently about religion. I don't like religions. I think they're all false. I think they're stupid. I think they're full of fairy tales. I think they mislead people. I genuinely believe they're the opium of the masses. Why should I not be allowed to say that? If I wasn't, if people hundreds of years ago weren't allowed to say that, we would have no progress, no science, <clears throat> no civilization, and we would be back in the Star Chamber and the Inquisition and prosecuting Galileo. But you are allowed to say that, I, and you're quite right. Not, not, not if you and your government have their way. Not if you and your government have their way. You can't you, do, I, I was investigated for six say, months for saying like what I said. Oh, no, no, investigated for six months by your government, by with your crown prosecutions. Well, and you, you and I and everybody knew it was a nonsense. Wait, 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 wait. One at a time. One at a time, otherwise nobody has Anyway, I'm not on trial. I've already been on trial by a kangaroo court conducted by the BBC, and I got sacked. I'm not going to be on trial here tonight. Let me just say one thing. Hold on, Robert. Hold on. Let me say I, I, I would like to point out, though, Robert, when it's all very well you saying that you are, you're against religion, but the remarks you made, and I read your article, it was a, a, towards Arabs. Arabs are not a religion. They are a race of people. And what happened that you lost your job. Now, we're talking about the BNP, about criminal proceedings. You weren't faced with criminal proceedings. Yes, I was. You I'm did, sorry. Yes, I was. Were you charged? Did you I, go to prison? I had a six months investigation by the police. Uh, and the Crown Prosecution so to see whether or not what I had said... But you lost your job because your job was in the but public hang on, you, asked, you just asked, was I subject to a criminal investigation? Yes, I was. I faced being charged with exactly the same charge as Nick Griffin got into court but, for. Okay, and it was ridiculous. May I point out that when Nick Griffin said the things that he said, he was speaking to his people. He was speaking to the converted. When you spoke out, it was in the national newspaper, so I think it was justified that it was an inquiry was there. So, okay, how does Robert Kilroy yeah. Silk's yeah, words affect the people race. that read this, these race. papers? I didn't talk about you, you race. You've heard your hand half. And are we not allowed yeah, to yeah, talk about again. race now without being prosecuted? Their fate <laughs> will be in each other's hands as they decide whether to share or to shout. Orange barrels, orange barrels, everywhere I see. Orange barrels, orange barrels, looking back at me. Look at Larry, Daryl and Daryl, standing next to the orange barrel, looking back at me. They have signs that say, slow down, I drive 25 through town. Their faces are dark and dirty and brown, they're looking back at me. <laughs> Orange barrels, orange barrels, everywhere I see Orange barrels, orange barrels, why can't I be free? Look at Larry, Daryl and Daryl Standing next to the orange barrel In their orange vest apparel Looking back at me 